Hi everybody, well we've had some interesting news about PUBG uh, that's coming up in the latest update for console. Well you've seen the title of the video, so here we go. Bots are coming to Player Unknown's Battleground. Bots are coming to our semi-realistic Battle Royale. So it's the um, 24th of April 2020. This developer letter came out 14 hours ago and it applies to uh, the next update 7.1 which is dropping shortly for console PlayStation and Xbox. So I guess I should really I should really read it because I can't remember ever really asking for bots in PUBG. Um, might have mentioned it a couple of times. Um, it'd be nice to have have bots just for practice modes, but not to put them in in the main game like they do in Player Unknown Battlegrounds mobile version, where there's loads of bots. Um, but PUBG Bluehole, the developer of PUBG, are very very good at adding things into the game that we didn't ask for. So anyway, let's read this. Let's read what they've got to say. Hello survivors. As happens with many games, we've seen the general skill level of our players grow significantly over the last three years. While PUBG veterans continue to hone their skills and improve, we're seeing more often that many newer players are being eliminated early with no kills and oftentimes with no damage dealt. You've been telling us for a while that the widening skill gap is creating a more and more challenging environment for some of our players and we're now ready to talk about our plans to help this. In an effort to provide more ways for players to hone their skills and be able to fully enjoy what PUBG has to offer, we've decided to introduce bots with update 7.1. Bots can have both, both positive or negative effects on a game, well as most editions can, depending on how well it's programmed. So let's go over some of the things we've been considering when programming these artificial aggressors. So, yeah, okay. Movement. In a normal PUBG match, players often traverse a variety of terrain, including open fields, rivers, cities, and even mountains. Without getting too complicated, movement of our bots is governed by what are called navigation meshes. Think of navigation meshes as boundaries in which the bots can move within. For each of our maps, big or small, much attention has has had to be put in to carefully lay out these navigation meshes, mesh meshes on every corner of our maps in a way that prevents bots from throwing themselves off a cliff or something else like that while hilarious doesn't line up with its intended functions with these navigation meshes in place the bots constantly look out for environmental hazards and works towards finding the shortest route to its next destination shooting PUBG players engage in firefights across all sorts of distances, from clearing out buildings to those sweet, long-range Car 98K headshots. Whatever the distance is, a crucial factor that makes shooting in PUBG so fun is the bullet physics, and we wanted to incorporate that into the bot shooting as well. So instead of letting the bots hit its enemies based on rather simple probability, PUBG's bots were designed to consider bullet physics when shooting. What this means is that players will be able to dodge the bot's bullets if they use the same evasive manoeuvres as they would in any other firefight. But of course, a computer would still be better at calculating bullet trajectory, so systems were put in place to make sure the bot's accuracy differs based on range. All of this was carefully balanced through countless iterations of balancing so that our bots provide just enough challenge and provides more ways for players to improve their, kill, improve their skills. Actually, it's not countless iterations of balancing. You can count how many iterations of balancing you've done. And we know, <laughs> Blue Hole, that you haven't put this on the console PTS, so we haven't had a chance to try it for ourselves before we release it into the public. So, you know, curb your enthusiasm. Looting. Having the right tools can mean life or death for most players. With bots, we're expecting a general increase in the amount of kills, and therefore the amount of items potentially looted. If our bots have too much loot, it might negatively impact the balance of our matches. If our bots have too little loot, or loot that wouldn't be appropriate for the phase in a match, it would look unrealistic. Our analysts and game designers went through lots of data from our live servers to not only see what players generally loot, but to see what types of items players usually carry into each phase of a match. With this data, we've set loot targets for our bots, so they loot and have the appropriate items for each phase. 
For example, you'll see bots run into close quarter bot battles with SMG early on while engaging in more long range sniper rifle or designated marksman rifle firefights later in the match. While there were many other factors that went into programming PUBG's bots, these were the three we felt carried the most potential impact on a match. We hope that introducing bots will help players get more shooting practice and kills, a higher average survival time, and maybe even that first exciting chicken dinner. Ooh, that's interesting. So I guess what that means is that bots potentially, are go you're going to be in a game with just bots. Basically, the full battle royale experience. As for our more experienced players, you're less likely to engage bots the higher your MMR is. That's kind of your skill. And in addition to that, there will also be the next evolution of competitive PUBG in our new ranked system due out next month, which will not have any bots. Oh, please don't have a ranked queue as well as a public queue. They really are determined to kill this game, aren't they? One last note. This is just the first iteration of bots. In the coming months, we will be implementing machine learning techniques to continue monitoring how humans play so we can apply improvements to make our bots behave more and more realistically. Of course, no amount of machine learning beats direct community feedback, so please let us know your experiences with the bots and how else we can improve. As always, thanks for your continued support and see you on the battlegrounds. Jun Hoi Choi, Lead Project Manager, PUBG Console Team. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That's um. So, with the introduction of bots, what that means is you can have shorter sorry smaller lobbies so you can have shorter wait times so that means you can have a lobby with just 50 people in and then 50 bots and you can start the game faster um, and then that means that you know you'll just be shooting bots early game maybe I'm um, looting stuff off bots the, the the major challenge for them though as I see it is that even if you play games like um, Call of Duty that have had decade you know a decade to work on their bot system you know when you play against bots in those games even you know in their campaigns and things they're, they're still not that bright you know and it's obvious that they are bots and not real play people so you, you you'll have this situation where you'll you'll be running against bots in early game if you jump far i guess and um what happens then when you get used to fighting bots and then all of a sudden you come across a real player who knows what th knows what they're doing and also there's also the problem of so if you've got a game say with say 15 real people and 85 bots so does that mean I, I guess the server is going to be figuring out where these bots are going and shooting them and that means the bots are going to have a ping advantage <laughs> against you because they're going to be on the server itself where you'll have your your normal 10 to 100 millisecond ping where the bot won't be the bot's there on the server there's no ping at all for him so he'll be able to see what happens um so it's it's interesting it's interesting i mean i'm not really bothered about early game kills um i, I i've always said i wouldn't mind a version of pubg that was just all bots so i could just play it just to practice you know for for, for killing people and so if they had a custom game where you could play against, you know, say Karakin, for example, against 80 bots, that would be really cool because I'd probably get to know Karakin a little bit better. But again, in the public games, I don't know. But there it is. I mean, they may well cancel this before it comes out with 7.1. Um, I hope it's good because I hope PUBG 7.1 with the reintroduction of um, Vikendi is good. I want to get back to playing more PUBG. I want this to be the game it was. I know they've already made several changes that I'll, you'll see in a video that I'm probably going to release tomorrow. That kind of think, well, why have they done this? But there's lots of that with PUBG's developers. Why have they done this? And we really want Brendan Green, player unknown, to come back, take the helm, and say, look, this is what we're going to do as we run up to the new console releases. But there we go. Bots, bots are coming to player unknown's battlegrounds. What do you think? Put your comments down below. Hit <laughs> like if you've enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you want to see more of the same. And of course, I'll see you again soon.